Suddenly, two guys showed up with guns. They forced them into their car and they went off they went. When you think about Mexico, what comes to your mind? Maybe images like these? Over the last couple of years, I've spent many months in Mexico shooting street photography in various cities all over the country. And to give you an idea on how many places I've visited, well, here you go. Since I've gathered so much experience during my time in Mexico, I'd like to share with you today what I've learned, which places I would recommend going, answer the question, is it safe going to Mexico doing photography and more specifically doing street photography? First of all, let's address the question, why Mexico? You see, in the last 15 years or so, I was very fortunate to visit many countries as a photographer following my passion doing street photography. And back in 2020, in the beginning of 2020, I went to Thailand to shoot for a project which ended up in here. So if you want to check it out, the link is in the video description. I guess I don't need to tell you what happened back then, but as the world came to a standstill and all my plans went out of the window, I needed to find a place where I can film videos and most importantly, go out and take photos. After a couple of weeks doing research, I found out that Mexico might be an option because you could just go there without any restrictions. However, I wasn't sure if that's a good idea because back then or even now today, Mexico is deemed a dangerous country. The lack of alternatives helped me to decide and I took the risk. I packed very lightweight and I only brought a small camera bag, this one here, and I brought two cameras, my Leica Q2 monochrome and a Leica M6. Some might now argue that it's a stupid idea to bring two expensive cameras to a country that is considered dangerous, but I think if somebody wants to rob you, it doesn't really matter what camera you have because that person will rob you anyway. In the end, the result would be the same. It doesn't really matter if the camera is expensive or not because it's gone. And in my case, I think the cameras are rather inconspicuous and most importantly, they were fully insured. Now let's quickly address the other elephant in the room because I think this will come up anyway. Why black and white? Well, I know Mexico is a very colorful country, but I wanted to shoot black and white. There's a reason for it, but I think that would be a topic for another video. All right, what about safety? How safe or dangerous is Mexico? Well, I can only give you my perspective and what I've heard from other travelers during my time in the country. Personally, I had no issues and I can't really remember um, any moment where I felt unsafe or threatened. However, that doesn't mean that all the horror stories that you hear are wrong. So in my case, I had no bad experience, but a friend of mine it was a different story. He's a DJ and he was at the same time in Mexico that I was and I met him in uh, Mexico City and he told me a story that was pretty crazy. One night he had a gig and he was the last person to leave the venue. It was in the middle of the night. Suddenly two guys showed up with guns. They forced him into their car and they went off they went. They told him, hey, we heard that you're dealing with uh, some stuff. So they were accusing him of um, interfering with their business. Let's put it that way. So they said, hey, we will search your stuff. And in case we find something, we will shoot you. Well, <laughs> I guess he was very scared at that moment. Luckily, they didn't, they didn't uh, find anything. So they let him go. That's, uh, that was the good message here, but in the end, I mean, it's still a bad experience and it's very different from what my experience was. But I think the difference here is that he was basically working in the nightlife scene and I think that is much more risky and it's much more likely that you will, you will come across some dodgy people. And I think if you follow certain protocols, you can minimize the risk. I've made a video talking about how to stay safe in street photography. Um, if you haven't seen it, check it out. I will link it up there. So uh, like I said, after this video, check it out and I give you some tips how you can uh, stay safe. Also, Mexico is a big country and not every city or region is the same. There are places that are totally fine and I think especially the touristy areas, if you go there, 
you'll be okay. Now let's talk about the places I've been to and let me give you my opinion if I would recommend going there or not. Let's start with a place that a lot of people will most likely be familiar with and that is Cancun. It is definitely not a place you would go to for street photography, but the beach there, especially on a weekend, can be interesting for photography. There are plenty of people around and I had a good time shooting. Now, the city itself wasn't that great for shooting, but if you want to enjoy the beach and maybe want to snap a few shots, Cancun can be a good place for that. In terms of safety, I felt alright, especially in the touristy areas. Just one hour drive away from Cancun is Playa del Carmen, which is similar to Cancun but on a much smaller scale, and I liked it a bit more than Cancun. And because it is also a very touristy place, I felt very safe. Since Mexico has ocean on both sides, there are a lot of coastal towns and in those usually the beach is a great place for shooting. And at the time I was there, it were also the best areas to find people without a mask. The next city is located in the center of Mexico and it's Guadalajara. It's one of the biggest cities in the country. I've been there a few times and I enjoyed shooting in Guadalajara. Shooting in the city center was fine, even at night I didn't feel unsafe because there were lots of people around. However, there are neighborhoods not far off the center that are a little sketchy, where you have to be a little bit more careful. I had no issues, but I didn't go there at night. Would I recommend the city? Absolutely. We can't talk about places for street photography in Mexico without mentioning the capital, can we? So, Mexico City. Even though I have been there multiple times, I've only seen a fraction of it. It can get a little bit overwhelming because the city is gigantic. Also, you have to know where you are going because there are neighborhoods that aren't the safest, but if you stick around the city center, you'll be fine. One day, when I was shooting with my friend Alejandro, we ended up in Tepito, which is considered to be one of the unsafest places in Mexico City. We had no plans to go there, but we were strolling around and ended up in Tepito. You could tell because there were pretty much no tourists around and a lot of people had tattooed faces. My friend, even though he is Mexican, didn't feel comfortable there and we left again. I wouldn't go there just by myself, especially not with the camera hanging around my neck. Overall, Mexico City is great, but don't underestimate the altitude, since it's above 2000 meters and it's also very dry. On the Pacific coast, around 5 hours bus ride away from Mexico City is Acapulco, a city that was very popular among the rich and famous a few decades ago and is now considered one of the unsafest places in Mexico. A lot of people advised me not to go there, but I did it anyway and I'm glad that I did. The city is very run down, but at the same time has so much character. With all the cliffs and the mountains surrounding the city, it is a very beautiful place. I stayed mostly close to the beaches and the city center. Visiting the outskirts was off limits because of the gang war that is going on there, even though those neighborhoods have the best views over the city. I could tell that the city has safety issues because there was a lot of police and military around, even on the beach. Would I go back there? Yes, of course, but it's not a place for everyone, that's for sure. San Cristobal. It is located in the south of Mexico and it is a rather small city in the mountains. I was told that it is a great place to visit, so I went to check it out. Most people seem to visit the place to go on tours and check out the spectacular nature surrounding it. For shooting street photography, I think two days is more than enough time. Because of the altitude, it can get cold there, please keep that in mind, and safety-wise, it felt alright. Another city up in the mountains is Guanajuato, east of Guadalajara. It is a place I would suggest visiting just because it is very beautiful, and there are usually lots of people around, which makes it a good spot for street photography. A good pair of shoes is recommended to master all the steep hills that you need to conquer for the best views. I felt very safe during my time there, even when shooting at night. The next place is probably one of the best beach cities for foreigners and tourists in all over Mexico, Puerto Vallarta. It is a lovely town which felt very safe. For shooting street, the beach and the malecon are great options. There is always a lot going on and because it's the west coast, you have the best light right until sunset. Another place that I would highly recommend is San Miguel de Allende. It is basically what tourists would expect of a typical Mexican town. It is rather small, but has lots of colorful buildings, 
and is hands down the most beautiful town I've visited in Mexico. And it felt very safe while I was there exploring the city. Especially during the Day of the Dead celebrations, it is the best time to visit San Miguel de Allende. There is a lot of activities going on and the streets are filled with people having a great time. And this year I'm happy to announce that you will have the ability to join my friend Ricardo and me for a three-day workshop during the Day of the Dead celebrations in San Miguel de Allende. My friend Ricardo, he lives very close by and he knows the area very well. And what is very convenient, in Queretaro there's an international airport and there are flights uh, from and to the US on a daily basis. So it's very easy and convenient to get there. And the date of the workshop will be November 1st until November 3rd this year 2023. For more information I will put a link in the video description so you can check it out and man I'm pumped I can't wait to do this. Now one of the cities that took me by surprise was Mazatlan. It's located in Sinaloa at the Pacific coast. You have probably heard about the notorious Sinaloa cartel haven't you? Yes it seems like a place to avoid but to be truthful I went there twice and had a great time. Most activities here are happening on the beach and on weekends a lot of people come here to party and this mostly happens on the beach. It can get very wild and especially on national holidays when there's a lot of people in town it's a great opportunity to shoot street. In my time there I haven't seen anyone taking photos on the beach. That was absolutely insane. This is a place I would highly recommend if you want to experience and shoot the crazy Mexican beach life. These were the main places I wanted to talk about but there are many more to explore. Some honorable mentions would be Campeche, not a busy place but very beautiful, Merida, Oaxaca and last but not least Puerto Escondido which isn't a place for street photography but it's a great place for relaxation and funny enough I took one of my personal favorite photos in all of Mexico down in Puerto Escondido. So would I recommend Mexico as a destination to do street photography? Yes of course. I've met so many nice people in Mexico and had a wonderful time. If you go there and if you're a little careful and choose your locations wisely you should be fine. Alright guys, that's it for today's episode. You know what to do if you liked it. Smash the like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and we will see each other very soon in the next one. Until then, auf Wiedersehen.